So we are back and we are still kind of analyzing. And one of the things that we want to understand is not only last time we saw from both of our Nova analysis and looking at kind of the plot here, we see that there are some, some statistically significant differences um, with our parameter fertilizer in terms of how it affects our yield. And we saw that with the ANOVA result, looking at the p-value being less than 0 0.05. Remember, uh, our alpha, if we're looking at 95% confidence interval, our f-value here, uh, as defined in the ANOVA, can never be, it's going to basically be from zero to infinity. So it's basically a single tail test. Um, we're not having our two tail test, so we can never have an alpha over two. Um, just so that we're all clear on on that and what that means and all that other good things. Um, so we saw that here, uh, but we want to see now, well, are there some statistically significant differences between our parameters? So for example, with or within our parameter, so fertilizer one, two, or three. So we can kind of see that here and we can run, for example, a two tail test. Um, and let's go ahead, or two sample test. So are there differences, for example, between one and F2, two? So we can run that. So one and two, there is no difference because our p-value is not basically less than 0.025. So that, there is no statistically significant difference between one and two. What about one and three? One and three, yes, indeed. <laughs> the, no pun intended. Um, so one and three, yes, which makes sense looking at our data set. And finally, what about uh, what about three and two? Three and two point yes. So we should see some statistically significant difference there as well. Um, so we should see a difference in one and three and then two and three. So you can try to run all these, but obviously that's going to take a while. Um, I mean, that will be actually difficult to run, especially when you're looking at parameters that have, you know, multiple parameters. Um, so we can actually do this same thing with our ANOVA analysis. So I can run a post hoc test. So a post hoc test, we've kind of described that slightly in the notes. Um, so Typically, what people do is they will actually run a, uh, a Tukey test, uh, a Tukey post hoc test, but that assumes variances are equal. We're going to run actually a games how post hoc test. Um, so we can actually, excuse me, we can go ahead and run games how test, and we can just do that on our, uh, basically on our crop, crop dat. And then we can do that on and looking at how yield and fertilizer are related. So we can look at that there. And we can see here, you can see the estimate, the confidence low, confidence high. And you can see if we are, the P adjusted are basically a P value. So P value here, we are not significant. So between one and two, which is what we found previously. And you can see one and three, very statistically significant. Two and three also show some, uh, basically, a significance. Because so, 0.05, it's less than, again, so our p-value, our critical parameter for this is, again, for our, our alpha here is equal to 0.05. So any p-value less than that, it is going to be basically a reject or there will be statistically significant, there will be a statistical significance in the data set. So we're seeing that significance right here in our post hoc test. So you're seeing the same thing, but we're just approaching it with, again, looking at variances versus looking at um, essentially the means and all these, or look, using our ANOVA results. So fantastic. So uh, hopefully this has shown kind of the power of uh, ANOVA tests and how we're going to analyze and look and build characterizations between this data set. So we will see you all in the next video. And actually you can kind of see here, um, actually, one more parameter uh, we can kind of start to analyze here. Actually, we'll, we'll see in the next video when we look at, we've seen statistically significant data sets, and we've analyzed that, and we've shown that these are significant, these are significant statistically. But now our question is the following. Um, will this parameter, specifically our parameter for 
uh, basically fertilizer, will fertilizer have a large effect, small effect, or medium effect, or no, or you know, or low effect, or you know, extremely, extremely small effect on that yield? So we're gonna get into that uh, in the next video. So we'll see you then. Thanks.